in anime and in stories in general, there's always a conflict. Something driving the plot forward. This can be anything from a couple being divorced to an all-out war. In my big dumb brain, though, many times this means physical fighting. Lots and lots of fights. However, the best written stories in these fights, they mean something. These conflicts are not just conflicts for conflict's sake. The best fights have meaning behind them and can even tell a story. Naruto vs Sasuke, Majin Vegeta vs Goku, etc, etc. These are cool fights for sure, but they also each have their own story that goes well beyond the fight, but is also continued by the fight. And no fight that I've seen does this better than Luffy versus Usopp. Luffy, if you don't know, is the leader of the Straw Hat Pirates, the group of main characters in One Piece, and Usopp is one of the first people who join Luffy's crew. Luffy is a traditional anime protagonist. In a lot of ways, Usopp really is not. Luffy is a fighter and almost certainly the strongest in the crew, while once again Usopp is not. Usopp is much more of a thinker than a fighter, preferring to snipe and strategize in battle. While this is just as important, Usopp, for hundreds of episodes, has let the fact that he is traditionally not strong eat at him. He thinks the only important thing that he has ever brought to the crew is the ship that they use, which was given to him by a childhood friend. Unfortunately, after sailing the seas of One Piece, the ship has seen better days, to put it lightly. It was just never meant to be a pirate ship, and it's well past its prime. So when the crew are told that the ship has to be replaced, Usopp is not only losing a gift from a childhood friend, but he's losing the purpose that he sees that he has on the crew. No one including the viewer knows this. However, Usopp has let his insecurities overcome him. He looks around him and sees these monsters that are capable of seemingly destroying any obstacle in their way. Then he looks at himself and he doesn't feel worth it. Finally, Usopp finds the ship he's provided needs to be replaced, and he can't accept it. He demands that he be given the ship, and he and Luffy agree to fight for it. A fight Usopp is almost certain to lose. What follows is two friends not fighting to the death, but it's still just as dramatic. Neither one of them want this, but they both believe that there is no other choice. This is where the decisions have led them. Despite the fact that these are not the two most powerful beings in the universe, this has just, if not more, meaning than any Dragon Ball fight. This isn't Goku versus Frieza. This isn't even Goku versus Vegeta. This is Goku versus Krillin, and it shows. Usopp can't hold anything back just to keep up with Luffy, and so not to disrespect Usopp, Luffy gives a huge effort as well. It even seems for a couple moments that Usopp may have it. It kicks left and right, but Usopp counters with the gadgets he invented and the techniques of his own, using both things he's invented and other things that he's gathered on the adventures the two went on together. At one point, Luffy feels sorry for Usopp and goes to check on him, but Usopp brilliantly if sa and savagely uses this to get a huge blow on Luffy. In the end though, Luffy is victorious. Usopp has lost his crew and the boat that was given to him while Luffy walks away tears in his eyes. This is such a beautiful fight, not just because of the choreography or the fight itself, but because how much meaning and story it has in it and leading up to it. Two men fighting for what they believe to be right, despite how much they mean to each other. It also has actual ramifications for the story in the future. Will Usopp come back and join the crew? And if he does, Will the relationship between him and the other members be strained? The fight actually means something to the characters and the story that they're in. It has a tangible effect on the world around it. Basically, it's not just a cool fight for the sake of a cool fight. Those can be cool for some big hits and pretty moments, but the best fights will always change the story around them and tell a story. This is one of the things that makes One Piece so good. Each straw hat matters. They can do things and change the story with or without Luffy. This isn't even the only time that fights like this occur, but that's a story for another day. And that's gonna do it for today's video. I hope everyone enjoyed it. Let me know your favorite fights in the comments and why you like them so much. Let me know if you like my fight and I hope everyone has a great day. I will see you next time.